Hey everybody, welcome back. Ali here again. Today I want to walk you through my workflow on my chain for mixing uh, trumpets using UAD's 1176 and UAD's AMS RMX Reverb to kind of achieve a beautiful, flush, present trumpet on this new Malik Moses record. So come hang out and check it out. So the way that I would approach a trumpet or brass in general is the same exact way I would approach a vocal. Try to get that to be as present as possible, lush, not harsh, but sitting in a nice pocket to make the whole mix kind of shine and come together. I would usually jump to the 1176 Rev A, uh, simply because it sounds more analog, you get more of an analog warmth, you get that top end uh, crunch that you look for um, when you're working on analog gear, and I like the way it translates. So the first thing that I do when I insert the 1176 uh, on whatever sound uh, that I'm working on at that time, um, I'll go to the input and I will make sure it has a nice signal coming into the plugin. And then what I want to do, I want to give the attack, I want it to have a fast attack. So basically the compressor attacks, uh, you know, when, when the notes and the tones of, of the trumpet is hidden, just so it grabs it and it pokes through the mix a little bit more. So a, fa a fast attack will be seven, a slow attack will be one. So I'll bring it all over seven to give it a real fast attack. and then give it a nice medium release, just so it has a nice, a nice natural release on its tail. And one thing that's dope about this plugin is I can select all ratios to kind of get a more aggressive, more aggressive compression out of it. So you basically just hit the, hit the bottom one, hold shift, and then hit the top one, and you're able to select all ratios, and it just gives it that little bit more grit that you might want. And then I would just adjust the output from there and see how it lays inside the mix. Now, after I've completed my processing with the compression on the horns, I like to add a little bit of reverb after just to give it some ear candy, just to give it some, some life and presence to make that sound, that instrument sit on top of a mix and float a little bit more, just like a vocal would. To achieve that, um, I, I use the AMS RMX reverb by UAD. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to go into the preset section. I'm gonna go to Chuck Zwicky. Chuck Zwicky, he's a legend of an engineer. If you don't know, get familiar. Uh, one of Prince's engineers. He has a vocal air preset that we're gonna use. So from there, I'm gonna listen to just the, the, the straight wet solo signal from uh, this AMS reverb to see what it's doing overall. Now, as you can see, I'm using this nudge down button to basically turn down the, uh, the send from this verb onto the trumpet. So I like where the reverb is sitting now, uh, sitting at eight. Now I'm gonna go in and play with the, with the filter to kind of see if I could brighten or, or darken up the, the, the tail from that signal. So as you all can see what I did there is I have the high filter at zero, so it's straight flat, and I brought down, and I have the lows at negative two to basically kind of, you know, bring out the lows a little bit in it. So now once I feel like I have a solid blend and I have uh, some nice processing done between the UAD 1176 and the UAD AMS RMX Reverb, uh, I'll go through and listen to it in the mix and how it lays in the mix, um, and I'll go back in A and B uh, before and afters with and without those two plugins to kind of see what I did in real time. So again, that's my technique of using UAD's 1176 and UAD's AMS RMX Reverb on trumpets. This is my technique of doing it, so try to take what I did, add it to your own arsenal, tweak it your own different type of ways, and create your next hit record. 